glad that you did the opening for me, Cody, because I saved you some time. <laughs> Welcome to a deep dive into music design, composition workflows, and Elias. So, who am I? I'm Chase Bathia. I work in the video game industry as a video game composer and technical audio designer. So, some of the audio middleware that Adam was talking about was F Audio Wise, the, the big ones that people know, but there's also another one. In fact, there's 11 in the industry of audio middleware. I've run them off to you, but I'm off the time. So, <laughs> elastic, lightweight, integrated audio systems, or enthusiastically looking into other audio solutions, or some sort of that. You might want to know what it is in the audio middleware. But some people might think it's this wrestler, Elias. <laughs> nah. Any anime fans in here? No? This is a lot of things where it's pretty I know it's an anime, I'm sorry. I don't really know. Like I said, it's an acronym for Elastic Lightweight Integra Integrated Audio System. So it's an audio middleware that aids in the sophisticated musical form, branching looping, and it can be designed in different states and events that I had suggested. So what I've already done is I work in Cubase New Window. I do the music design based off of reading the game design document or having different art or working with the team to pretty much figure out what am I going to be utilizing the music to convey to the player to enhance their experience overall. So this is the pre-design that I'm taking the step forward that they're not even thinking about. And so so this is the subdued version of the puzzle being more focused on and then it will transition back into the game. So I am able to, I have this gift where I can understand how to do it before it actually goes into Elias, mm -hmm. and I use Elias, the arranger track for that, and to, that's not the, what it's actually used for. And so it gives me the idea of understanding vertical and horizontal composition, which is just more of like layers in one fashion versus the other. And so if you write it on, Elias does that already, whereas then it becomes, and there are open source dolls as well, Besides Reaper, I'm pretty sure they're there at the show right now. I remember seeing them a few years ago. But if they are, if they're somehow like speaking the same language, then it it takes the, the steps of just getting you know, MIDI down, MIDI right, and then having the tools be just synchronized in that format, and just experimenting more and making chaos. I think is probably what needs to happen first in order for there to be some kind of future standard. 